Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Nendoroid Transformers Starscream G1 version. You can see him there in, uh, in front of his box. We'll go ahead and put him off to the side real quick so we can look at said box. And yeah, once again, much like the Megatron Nemesis Prime, it is purple. You've got Starscream there and you got, yeah, the, the, uh, the uh, Katakana there for Starscream. Yeah, it's the Starscream, yep. Got the Japanese uh, Transformers logo up here and uh, Sentinel and Zulu's is sculpted by uh, Toy House. So that's the thing. Up here, you go, of course, got another product shot. And a little car Tommy sticker right there. On this side, you have uh, more Starscream shots. And on this side, you have Starscream shots and Megatron and him. Oh, no. Uh, Megatron's mad at him. <laughs> Again, more product shots there. And, of course, in the back, you have uh, warnings and more product shots and copyrights and all that stuff. And this is also 1838 in the line. It also comes with a little the bullet booklet about basically what it comes with and whatnot. And I believe this one is only only Japanese on this one. Yeah, they very much just wanted these uh, two for two separate markets for these uh, Transformers and Endos. But anyway, Android Starscream here. You can see, yeah, he is well, you know, the good old big head, kind of a. I'm not sure I like this face a lot. I'm not sure about this face. It kind of it, it it's like it. It feels like it is Starscream, but also feels off, and I can't quite explain what it is. Just the mouth feels a bit off. But if we got nice shiny red for the eyes and stuff, you got his uh, weird uh, vent ears and stuff. You got the chest cockpit and the turbine nipples and red and the white and blue there, and you got his null rays and even has his uh yeah. They even got the upside down Decepticon symbols on the wings and everything. And yeah, he's got his backpack and all that stuff and little you can see there the little thruster uh, heels. A little bit of detailing on the back of his head, right there. And yep, very nicely uh, done. And also very nice shiny uh, paint for the uh, helmet here, which is nice. So uh, that's a, a thing. And of course, like the other Transformer uh, Nendos, that should not come off. Come on, there you go. Here's what you like other Transformer Nendos. He actually can stand pretty decently without the stand. Although I just knocked him over, so of course. Just, you know, just prove my point incorrect immediately. Because he's Starscream, he has to be difficult. <laughs> you, can, you know, because he's got a nice big old uh, footprint. Even as, yeah, again, the, the, the thrusters still molding the feet there too. That's pretty nice. And yeah, the weird, is, weird thing is, yeah, the backpack here can actually come off. It is a separate piece. You just uh, leave it off. I'm just a little afraid of breaking because I don't want to, you know, completely grab it by the wings. Because those are thin plastic. I don't want to break that this. Yeah, he can come off. It can come off and everything, and he's got no uh, detail really back there. But it can come off, which theoretically means on another uh, transformer or not another Nendoroid. This could be attached to another Nendoroid, which would be interesting. I'm curious now. <laughs> Just thinking about that, got the attachment to another Nendoroid. I wonder. That's too high up. Oh, it's too high up. <laughs> Theoretically, that would well, what might almost work. Oh, no, the pegs are different, so I don't know. I'll have to look into that, but there's theoretically some 10 androids might be able to wear Starscream's wings, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's a decent looking thing. Only thing my only complaint maybe is the mouth, but, uh, articulation wise, uh, you got the, uh, all jointed heads you got left and right fortunately not a lot of wiggle or up and down not a whole lot just because of the sheer size of the head of course you got the uh forward and back on there you got outward although again limited by the head you have to kind of finagle a little bit the no race can come off they're just pegged on which also means they can uh rotate as well there's a bicep swivel and a hip on a elbow and uh the wrist can swivel although their pegs are in there very tight but they can swivel and also, again, you can unpeg all that, a lot of this stuff too, which means part swapping. Uh, ball joint. There is a ball joint, I believe, in the hips again. Yeah, in the abdomen, you can see there's a ball joint in the abdomen, so he's got a lot of wiggle there. You got a waist swivel as well. You got these weird hips, which have this. The waist skirt is kind of attached on the side. It's, it's, it's kind of a just a peg, so it should be able to swivel for it up and down too. I guess to preserve the sculpt, but the way it's attached, I'm not sure it doesn't want to move very much. So it's kind of annoying. So it's really easy to just kind of make him look a little weird if you uh, move the hips too much. So I don't, I'm not sure I really like that. You also got a little bit of outward 
I guess kind of a bit of a size level thanks to the ball joint and that much outward and that much forward and back. Not a whole lot there, honestly. Knee can bend, not even not not quite 90 degrees, but a decent amount. And the ankles are on ball joints, although it's only the front part. You can see there's this part's not moving. So you got all over the place, not really a lot of twist, but you know, forward and back and side to side and all that stuff. So again, like the other Transform Transformer Nendo's, good articulation, but the thing about that, of course, is that means not a whole lot of accessories, once again. And, yeah, he comes with, well, two hands, which are just kind of flat, op somewhat open hands, and an alternate face, a uh, yelling face, a screaming face, if you will, which, of course, it's an Nendo, so pop that off, pop that off, and then... Slide that in and yep. Now he's a little upset. Also, you can't really see, you can't really see it super well, but because of the backpack, there is somewhat of the shoulder vents for Star Scream. Barely, but you, they're kind of there. Yeah, and of course, uh, you can pop the hands off and uh, there you go on that. And that's pretty much the sum total of what he comes with. And wow, that one's pegged in real good. There we go. Oh, it might have been a uh, paint fusion or something. I don't know. Paint stickiness, maybe. I don't know. Those in there pretty good, but yep. Yeah. Yep, so uh, now he's uh, looking a little properly terrified and everything. Gonna. But of course, with this stand, of course, you can get in flight poses and whatnot as well if you want. So that's the thing. Yeah. A uh, quick comparison. Here's the Megatron. Again, need to lower this a bit more. There we go. And you can see with Megatron, Megatron yelling at him. Again, because once again, he's screwing up. Or being a traitor. traitor. And here he is with Optimus and Nemesis. Again, just to give an idea. And theoretically, he gets his head swapped around. You can reenact that one scene. What was it? Megatron's master plan? Yeah, that one where, you know, Starscream was being Optimus somewhat. You can do that. If you swap the heads around, I'm not going to show up because that's just a waste of time. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Starscream. It's a nice looking Nendo for the most part. I'm kind of a few, I don't really like the way the mouth on the default head is sculpted and the way the hips are done kind of bothers me a little bit. I wish that was just one solid piece, but I kind of understand why it wasn't just for the sake of looks. It, it, it's, it's regardless, you still get limited. The hips are very limited regardless. So I don't think it really, it's kind of just a weird way to do things. I feel and it just can make, wind up making some poses just look a little off. So he's good, but I, I don't know. Personally, I think I like the Megatron Optimus sculpts better so far, but this is not bad. It wouldn't surprise me if also you get Thundercracker and Skywarp because, of course, we will at some point because most blatantly obvious repaint ever. So, um, yeah. He's good. If you like Starscream, he's worth, I think, worth probably, if you really like Starscream, he's probably worth it. You know, about, again, $50, $60 total right now. So, uh, just, just, you know, keep an eye out for him. Pick him up if you like him. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope you found it um, fun and entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my uh, Twitter, I'm Nemesis Prime 1. And check out my coffee, my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.